The following is a commercial presentation brought to you by Collectibles Guru. Hi, I'm Gary Ashburn, and I've been working in the world of collectibles and memorabilia for over 30 years. Here at the Collectibles Guru, we only bring you genuine and exclusive memorabilia from the worlds of sport, music, TV and film, heritage, and even more. Every item we bring you will come with a certificate of authenticity. It'll have our name, our address, our phone number. In other words, you can always contact us. And most important, we're a member of Aftel, who are one of the top three autograph trade associations in the world. This means that every collectible item we bring you is guaranteed 100% genuine. So when we say an item is signed, we guarantee it is hand signed and not a printed or a facsimile signature. So if you're looking for a unique, unusual and highly collectible gift for yourself or for someone you love, then this is the place to be. Hello everyone, a very good evening. Welcome to Sporty Stuff TV. This is The Collectibles Guru. My name is Ben Mosby. Merry Christmas. We're getting there, aren't we? Uh, slowly but surely uh, getting ready for the big day. And if you're looking for some amazing collectibles, some amazing gift ideas for that loved one in your life, or maybe you're just looking to treat yourself, you've come to the right place because over the course of the next hour, we've got some amazing items to bring to you. Uh, some brilliant collectible gift ideas. Now, if I'm smilier than I I normally am, you're going to discover the reason for yourself in just a second because you know what, it is Christmas so the guys have decorated the studio beautifully, you know we're wearing our, our Christmas jumpers as well and I thought it might be a nice idea this week actually uh, to get Gaza in some fancy dress. Now I was hoping, seeing as it was Christmas, he was going to come dressed as uh, Santa Claus. Why have you come dressed as David Bellamy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's nearly fitted. Look. Yeah. Oh, how are you doing? That I'm his is... brother. I'm his brother. Gaz's brother, Nicholas. Oh, yeah. Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas. Hello. Oh, Merry ho, Christmas. Ho. <laughs> Did that without moving your lips? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Ho, uh, ho, ho. Hey. I, I, I love the fact that you got into the Christmas spirit. Yeah, I know. I had some in the. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't, honestly. But, yeah. <laughs> the jumper, the hat, the bit. Yeah. Are you keeping that on for the whole show? It's actually it's hot in here. No, yeah. I think the, <laughs> you might find to shave it off in a minute, but you know, we'll, we'll give it a whirl. Are you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> I can't take him seriously. Are hello. You, <laughs> hello. 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 How are you doing? Are you, oh, um, what? <laughs> are, are you looking? <laughs> are you looking forward? Yeah, put the kids to bed for goodness' sake. You're gonna ruin their Christmas. Are you? Um, are you looking forward to Christmas? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always go out for a ride on Christmas Eve, go miles, I do. Yeah. Some I get home, I'm always worn out at Christmas right. morning. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Uh, it's always good fun. Yeah. Yeah. About 30,000 mince pies, though, as you've seen. But, you know, apart yeah. from that. You're looking good for it. Carrots for me, mates. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do a good job. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, Weirdest opening to the show ever, but absolutely loving it. Uh, we are here, of course, every Sunday night at 10. Probably not from next week after this. Uh, but we've got loads of, uh, loads of great uh, collectibles to bring to you. And uh, we've got a brilliant lineup this week. Coming something a bit different, got, Father so, I Christmas. I can't talk with this one. No, you might yeah, want to yeah, take it off. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> Shall we have a look at what's coming up? Yeah, first of all, we've got this, uh, this Beatles. This is amazing. It's a Beatles turntable with Bluetooth. This particular, there's a couple of them. This is the Blue Anthology. It really is great. We'll show you that in detail later, but a real great, uh, great, great turntable. And then, of course, this is a different one. This is from Let It Be, of course, the black version called the Black Anthology. Again, this is a Crossley Collector's Turntable. You want to play your albums and everything great and really collectible because of the Beatles. Here we have a, a wonderful, really hard, rigid uh, carry case, which you carry a lot of albums in. Um, really fabulous, it is really super. And um, of course, with the images of the Beatles in, so uh, can't go wrong. This is actually a, a slip mat for putting over the um, you know, the front and looking after your uh, records, helps to protect them, etc. Or if you do a bit of disco stuff, and a bit of that, 
<laughs> all that they stand you for that you know <laughs> and then of course we have a if we think of everything if you think this is an abbey road seven inch record adapter so you can slip that over your uh, the uh, the hole that normally is used for the 12 inch and that will enable you to play the uh, seven inch a bit easier the Julesy's fingers puppets this is going to be a real winner for christmas this is uh, really special we talk about that in great detail you get this little red riding hood you get five finger puppets to the etta and a storyboard but we'll tell you more in a minute then of course if you love the beatles this is an abbey road 24 by 20 frame gold disc uh, it comes with a photograph. These are bigger than normal, they're 24 by 20. It's a limited edition of only 100 in the world, so the one you get is the only one there is. And then, of course, we have uh, John Lennon, had to have them in this show. This is, of course, his infamous Imagine album. 24 by 20 again, it's a limited edition of 100. So the one you get with the number on will be the only one in the set. We don't have anywhere near the 100, we just have a few. This is, of course, this is the canvas print of Liverpool. You'll never walk alone. A 24 by 12 photo canvas print. Really great one. Shane, like Bill Shankly on there. Look, Stephen Gerrard. Uh, Joe Gleeson there as and well. everybody on there. Mm. Roger Hunt, one of Liverpool's most famous players, uh, played in the 1966 World Cup final. Uh, a great player, was a great servant to the game, and that's a great photograph of him with his signature. So, again, can't go wrong. You've had a shave. Yeah, I had a shave. I couldn't call. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, multitasking, telling you Better about before, what's coming up on the it? show. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, put it back on. Pull the hat down yeah, a bit. Yeah. Um, if you see anything that you like, of course, you can um, order on the phone. Free. <laughs> He's on one tonight. Uh, free phone 0800 yeah. 254 5402. Or you can shop online, collectiblesguru.com. Um, and of course, you, when you shop on the website, you can spread the cost of a lot of the items on ClearPay, a four-way ClearPay. And the other brilliant thing is as well, we do have a promo code. If you use this before the 18th of December, uh, the last week to use it with us, uh, it, the code is Xmas, X-M-A-S. You uh, pop that in when you're checking out and you'll get free PMP, which is a nice little uh, Christmas gift from us to you and still guaranteed Christmas delivery as well. I'm super excited for this show, super pumped. And I tell you what, what an amazing item this is. The Beatles Blue Anthology um, Collector's Turntable, 628414, 199.99, 50 pounds on um, clear pay today. I mean, not only is this a, a great bit of kit kind of technology wise, but I mean, how amazing does this look? Yeah, it's brilliant. We managed to get a, a, a few of these. They really are fabulous. I mean, anything to do with the Beatles is always well, you know, well sought after. Mm. I mean, here obviously are available if you can find them in the uh, the retail world at the moment. But in my opinion, this will probably be like the, tomorrow's collectibles. Yes. There's anything to do with the Beatles, whether it's on a, a tissue or anything yeah, yeah. is really sought after. These are great as well. I don't know if we want to put that down on the top on the lid as well. We've got the Beatles name, as you can see. There's several of the we've got another one we'll show you later but they are really brilliant but so in there you can take your turntable around with you and play all the vinyl that you want but these are really really popular they've proven red red hot since they come out this one of course is the Beatles Blue Anthology, uh, the collector's turntable and of course you can play your 12 inch records on there or you can also play 7 inch and if you want to be better you can get the adapter which we'll show you a bit later on as well. But these are fabulous, you can take these around, this of course is a modern version with the uh, Bluetooth on and everything. Fabulous piece of kit, it really is and I mean if you're looking for something a bit sort of, uh, a bit sort of step back in the nostalgia, maybe you grew up for the Beatles or you've read about them whatever but it's a wonderful way to uh, remember the band I mean you play whatever record you like on it yeah but the fact that it's got Beatles images on it always going to be well sought after can you imagine America Far East Japan they would love this they really would love this. It's a great bit of kit. And of course, now vinyl has, has turned full cycle. Such a I surge mean, for vinyl, hasn't there been? Yeah, I mean, I, myself, I was talking to Richard as well, our you know, head cameraman earlier as well. And he 
he's the same as me. You know, we sort of, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot older than him, but we both grew up with the vinyl, yeah. you know. And now it's sort of great, you know. You see all these records that are being remastered and brought out again, and there's a big desire for people to get the original. You used to go to a record fair and all you see is old codgers like me there, you know. But <laughs> now there's all age groups. I mean, my kids, you know, grandkids are like trying to get their hands on vinyl, and it's become really trendy to get the original albums, yes. you know. It doesn't matter if they've got a bit of a smart or they've got a few wrinkles like we all have, you know, when we're over 45. <laughs> 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 we wish. But, um, you know, they really are great. And um, anything like this, I mean, vinyl's red hot at the moment. And this is just part of the, of the package, isn't it? You want something groovy, a bit different, really something to play it on and this is hits all the boxes i think it's a great piece of kit it does i mean like you know like you say kit wise the fact that you can you, know, you play this through your speakers if you want you've got the switch on the front here so again you know if you want to connect this to a like a, a bluetooth device and play it via your bluetooth you can um, and you've even got the um, little headphone socket on there as well so if you mm. if you want to sit there and sort of listen in private put your headphones on i just think it's brilliant and it, there's loads of tech involved with this isn't there but it's got that kind of vintage feel to it and the fact that it's in like that little carry case as well so once yeah. you know maybe you want to take it with you i don't know if you do the same as as we do christmas you know spend christmas day at home and then maybe you go and visit some relatives or whatever you can mm. take it with you it's great isn't it? it really is i think it's a wonderful piece of kit i really do i love as i say i love vinyl and at the moment i know that nearly all the albums that are released now are yeah. released again in vinyl yeah yeah you know i know a young bad hardwick circus have been doing really really well and interestingly enough paul mccartney has been mentoring them as well but basically they you know, they all releasing, even the, the new bands that are new to the new artists are releasing a big percentage of their music on vinyl. Yeah. And it's well sought after, you know. But when you look at the price of the remastered stuff, you know, I'd much rather have an, a, personally an original album, even if it's got a few marks, I'd rather have that than a remastered version at the same price sometimes. Oh, uh, absolutely know. right. And like you said, there's so many bands now releasing their new albums on, on vinyl, even cassettes making a comeback. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm like you, I've, I've got um, a, a similar um, record player at home that I, I listen to um, albums on via Bluetooth. But the joy of like popping into a charity shop as well and searching <laughs> oh, through yeah, all, the old, um, yeah. all the old all the old vinyls is brilliant. Yeah. I love I love vinyl. I used to go to Paris a bit with work. There's a big market there on a Saturday, you know, and um, they have loads of records there. And I'd sit there for hours, you know. You let me loose in a record shop. <laughs> leave me in there for the weekend, second-hand <laughs> records. There we know. go. Now to keep him busy at the weekends. Yeah. Don't tell the wife I told you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. <laughs> I, I just think it's such a lovely, lovely piece, and the and the, um, the image here of the, uh, the the Fab Four, I just think is great. It's a really evocative image, of them, isn't it? At their peak, mm. it's fabulous. And as I say, you know, this is uh, Brad Crosley, great name as well. But it, it's terrific. You can play. Any, any, you know, any LPs or anything on that, or you can play the singles, of course, EPs, whatever it is, seven and twelve inch, basically, you can play either. Yeah. And if you want the adapter, you know, we'll talk about in a minute, you can have that as well as an added incentive. But they are great, and as you said, the great thing about that, if I had that and the uh, and the case, you can yeah. sort of, you've got a party, haven't you, really? Yeah. Going back, you know, the old, uh, you can't beat, uh, you know, vinyl. I love the artwork and everything about it. It's just great. Right. And the whole experience as well of like playing a <coughs> playing a vinyl and you know putting mm. the needle on the on the record yeah. and then you know halfway through having to turn it over. It's just like a whole experience. And there's nothing quite like, is there? Listening to a listening to an album on vinyl as opposed to say a CD or listening yeah, digitally. Yeah, to me, there will never be any you know comparison because I grew up through that era, you know. And uh, you know, vinyl. I used to have at one point about four thousand albums. Did I you think. really? Yeah, oh, and, a, and a couple of thousand singles, you know. I was threatened with uh, deportation, I think, but um, I managed, I did get rid of quite a few to um, charity shops and things, and it broke my heart now. I wish I kept them, but I, I, I've gradually re bought them back a lot of the albums I like, you know. <clears throat> it's really great. Um, I, it's such a lovely piece, it really truly is. Uh, 628414 is your item number if you want to go for the Beatles Blue Anthology Crossley Collector's Turntable. It's $199.99, uh, but only £50 today if you are using Clearpay, your first payment of four, and of course, free PMP. Uh, you're saving yourself a tenner there, pretty much, if you use that code Xmas before the 18th. So it's really the last show that you're gonna be able to use that code on. Uh, and of course, we're still guaranteeing Christmas delivery as well, 628. 
uh, 414. What a brilliant Christmas gift for that uh, Beatles lover in your life or anyone who just you know wants to get back into that amazing way of playing your music, uh, vinyls. There's no better way really. Now, um, if you love the um, the blue anthology, we've got the um, the uh, black book. It's got Let It Be on it, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Let one? It Be. This one is yeah. Again, same idea. It's just a different image. You know, choice is yours. Again, a very uh, famous image of them from the band, uh, from the album there. Great image of them of Let It Be, one of the most famous albums they produced. But again, it's just, the choice is yours. You know, you've got a the black version there with Let It Be, or you've got the one we saw earlier, the blue version with uh, the anth the both called anthology. But uh, this one is Let It Be, the black version. But again, looks stunning. Great images. But imagine when you go somewhere and you take that out. You know, people of my era are going, Wow, what you got there? You know, because be anything to do with the Beatles, sort of people are personified into thinking, Wow. You know, it's got to be, it's so rare, it's so, you know. I mean, obviously, this is newly produced, it's, you can't call it rare. No. But, but as a collectible, uh, people buy this as a collectible, like tomorrow's collectible. They assume this would follow the suit of the previous route, where basically anything with the Beatles on, their picture, their image, even things you'd never even think of, a tea towel or mm -hmm. something, because not many people keep them, they are very desirable in their own right. You know, I mean, we all know that the autographs are what they're worth of the Beatles, phenomenal money now, but anything to do with the band itself is very desirable. I like your idea as well of like, you know, whether you go for the blue or the black or maybe, you know, getting both, his and hers. I like the idea, the fact it's in a little carry case, just taking it with you. Maybe you're off to a New Year's party at a friend's and family house, take yeah. your partner with you, you can be the DJ for the night. That's right, could be, couldn't you? Don't yeah. Yeah, don't mess with the rest. Let's play the beats and get it on, baby. <laughs> Some of that, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, something yeah. just like that. That's oh, how we do it. <laughs> when I start DJing, there's an audience of one. Over they put there. you on at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, the end of the night. Last <laughs> orders, put that on. Get on. You know. <laughs> Uh, something like that. Oh, um, <laughs> oh he's on one, isn't he? Six five zero three seven nine. That is the the, the black turntable. So the Let It Be Black Anthology uh, Crossley Collectors Turntable. Again, it's the same price as the blue one. I suppose just depends which uh, tickles you fancy, which images you like best there. Or as I say, you might decide you love them so much you might want to get both. Nine uh, hundred and ninety nine ninety nine is the price there, or fifty pounds if you're using Clearpay. Don't forget you can shop for all of these items at Collectibles Guru. Com. That's where you'll find all of the uh, terms and conditions as well. If you want to shop on the phones, you can. It's a free phone number 0800 254 5402. Now, here's the thing. You've got your, your record player. You've got a load of vinyls. You want to take them with you, but you've got nothing to carry them in. Well, now you have, and you can carry them in, in style. Look at this, the uh, the record carrier with the Beatles. Uh, this is brilliant. It's great, and it's really solid and rigid. You know, you could, I, I, I'm not sure how, I haven't actually checked exactly how many albums you get in there, but it's quite a few. Yeah. You know, and as you say, it is a real, like a suitcase. It's beautifully produced. But yeah, if you're, a, you know, if you're walking around somewhere like Liverpool with that, you, you know, they're going to go, wow, where'd you get that? You no, it's we're not just Liverpool anywhere really. Gonna, gonna turn heads, but actually as a as a piece of kit again, really useful. Mm, absolutely right. Excuse me, I've got a call. Yeah, <coughs> excuse me. That's, that's right. Um, and the thing is, again, with that, you, like you say, you're gonna, you're gonna get a lot of your albums in there. And if you've paid like you know good money for those, you want to make sure that whether that's just sort of keeping them nice and neat at home, or if you are taking them with you, you want to make sure that you can transport them and they're not going to get damaged. But that with the um, with one of the record players, perfect partners, really, aren't they? Well, you've got your own night out, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Really? You know that and a you know your earphones and off you go. You know, can't go wrong. But it is. It's a really solid, well-made piece of kit. Again, and uh, you know, as I say, loads of Beatles fans will buy them just because it's something that relates to the band, and usually anything to do. I mean, that would come under the era um, of Beatles potential memorabilia mm. simply because it's the Beatles, and anything does, you know, really, really popular. Anything with their name or their image on is going to prove popular. It is the Beatles record carrier case 609307. That's your item number. 84.99 for that one. And of course, you don't have to pay your PMP if you use that code Xmas. Do it before the 18th of December. And of course, um, it's the last show that we are going to be broadcasting where you can use that code 
and we are also saying that you're going to get these items before Christmas as well. If you want to use ClearPay, you can. £21.25 is the uh, the price today. It's your first payment of four. I always think the website is the best place to shop, actually, because there you can see all of the other items that we've got. Plenty of items there, which obviously aren't we going to be featuring on today's show. So if you don't see something that you particularly want on this show, chances are you'll find something on the website. Um, and, and it covers everything, doesn't it, Because I know we feature a lot of sports on uh, sporty stuff, TV, but... <laughs> everything you've got really yeah yeah we got mu you know music mm. got tv films some heritage everything really and do check that website on a regular basis because the items do change quite regularly especially the signed stuff we don't have big stocks of it some cases just one-offs and once they're gone they're gone you know so do check that on regular basis there you go, and you can just see on the web there, a few uh, items popping up. Obviously, Torval and Dean there, it's Chelsea. But look, comedy, boxing, aviation, football, you yeah. name it. Hollywood Bond, if you love James Bond. Yeah. Um, there's all sorts of items there, isn't there? There's all sorts. As I say, it constantly changes. So it's, uh, that's the key thing. Do, do check it on a regular basis. Now, if you're going for any of the record players, a couple of items that you might also want to um, add. So, the, I mean, this is brilliant, the image, Yellow Submarine. I mean, Slip yeah. Mat, Gazza. Slip Mat, yeah, that's right. Um, obviously, you can put that to help protect, especially, I suppose, when you're moving it around or your records when you're even, uh, you know, storing them or whatever. Mm. But, yeah, it's a nice image. And, again, just because of what it is, Yellow Submarine, it's a, a special, special sort of item. You know, it really is. Can't go wrong. Fifteen ninety nine. <laughs> that one four pounds on clear pay, and then you've also uh, got the uh, record adapter. Now, um, is this to, is this to play the forty five? Is it? Yeah, it's a seven inch uh, forty five adapter, aluminium adapter. Mm. So it's solid aluminium construction, perfect for any turntable, whatever the era. Nice. So, can't go wrong. Sixteen ninety nine. 425 is your clear pay price on that if you're splitting the cost four ways today use that code as well xmas for your uh, your free p and p right uh, we will recap on some of these items a little bit later on in the show for you if you have arrived a little bit late but uh, for something for you to something for the kids or indeed the kids at heart uh, i know a lot of people have been chatting yeah, about this uh, a lot, a lot of people, kids at art as well, very excited about this. You've got your very own puppet theatre here. Yeah, I know, yeah. I love uh, a bit of theatre. Yeah. But yeah, this is a great item. It really is. It, uh, you, it comes, you've got the fantastic box, which I'll show you in a moment. But it come, the box itself, beautiful artwork. But it comes complete. You get this uh, uh, fold-out, eco-friendly theatre. Get it out in a minute. Yeah. And then, then the stage. It's beautifully done up, a bit like the old Punch and Judy is, types yeah. there. Isn't it? And then you get the stage. And the idea is you get five separate finger puppets. They're all handmade. Yeah. But these depict the uh, little red riding hood. I understand in future releases they'll be doing other other fairy tales, you know. But uh, um, this particular one is Red Riding Hood. Yeah. And as you can see when we look at them, you've got, they depict the characters, you know, like you've got, uh, well, you see at the end, my brother there, the uh, woodcutter. Yeah. woodcutter. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got the, the grandma. Yeah. Then you've got oh, I you're uh, do all the, voices the wolf. Then oh, yeah. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> then you've got the wolf. Yeah. Oh, and then you've got, I don't know, that's like my cough. <laughs> then you've got a little red riding hood. Hello, Granny. <laughs> and then at the end, of course, we've got the big bad wolf pretends to be the granny. Naughty wicked old wolf. wolf, you know. Yeah. So it's a great. And the interesting thing about this and what really brings it alive, it comes complete with this wonderful storyboard, which uh, Ben is holding there. And what it actually, the idea is that the young, the younger children can sit and watch the, the theatre having fun. You'll get at least two of them behind there playing with it. And then the, the, then you've got the storyboard. So an older, an adult or an older child can read the story yeah. while the kids actually read enact it on the stage or they can make their own productions up last you do what they like but it's a great way of doing it so you've got fun for all the family or it's good for a class of kids or a play group anything like that birthday parties are all sitting around and they can all have a go and it's a great thing about it if you're old-fashioned like me and others there's no batteries there's no computers there's no phones it's just good old-fashioned traditional fun that's it isn't it it's getting the kids using their imagination getting mm. them away from the screens they'll absolutely love this honestly 
honestly. And I, as I said to you on a, a previous show, I can imagine, you know, the kids kind of getting this Christmas day and then taking it away, having a play, and then always Boxing Day, doing a little production for the whole family when you've got the relatives coming round, maybe, you know, after that second uh, Christmas dinner and get everyone sat round and the kids can put on a show. And I know if your kids or grandkids are anything like mine, they, they love doing that. They love, like, you yeah. know, putting on a show and all that and kind of thing. That's right. And that hand you see is like a storage thing. It comes with the feet that you fit it on. Yeah. You get, that's actually purely for the storage of the puppets when you're not using them. So you can actually store them on the hand itself, you know. But it's a great item. It also comes with a, a black and white version of the theatre. Oh, yes. Which encourages you, the, 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 the kid, encourages the kids to fill, colour that in. And it's the play group. Say you've got four kids in the family or ten. It doesn't matter. You can photocopy it, run them off for all of them. And they can send off colouring it, colour it all in and send them off. And the, the winners, when they get it, will actually have the front of what they've drawn will be recreated onto the front of a future theatre box, you know? So it, the box of the theatre, I should say. So it's a great way of doing it. You know what kids be like, excited. It's like, bye-bye, it's my drawing then, you know? Something like that, you know? That's me, not the kids. <laughs> yes, you get excited. <laughs> you can't yeah, do it. No, 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 that's right. No, I can't do it. <laughs> but it's a great way of dealing with it. But it's a way of keeping the kids happy. It's creative it's educational and most of all it encourages them to have teamwork and work together so whether you've got 20 kids or four or three it's great fun 19.99 is the price i think it's a really really great christmas gift idea 627295 it's one of those nice gifts as well i don't know if you do this at, at home too but you know sometimes you buy like a, a gift for the kids to share so if you've got you know a couple of kids a couple of grandkids nice little gift to put under the tree uh, yeah. that the kids will absolutely love and look, look at the, the size box. of the it box they're going to be fighting up. over who opens this aren't they it's a big yeah, old box love, it's a big old box and it can you imagine how excited when they see that what's that what's that Love, love, yeah. love it. I tell you what, we've, uh, I mean, I, I feel like I want to have a little play with this myself, but I've, I've been told I'm not allowed to. So we've got a little video <laughs> here uh, seeing the Puppet Theatre in action. So have a look at this. Don't miss out on Julesy's Puppet Theatre. Children of all ages will enjoy hours of fun as they get the chance to act out their favourite classic fairy tales in their very own pop-up theatre, complete with finger puppets. Julesy's Puppet Theatre is designed to positively encourage creativity, initiative and teamwork, whilst keeping the little ones thoroughly entertained. Before your own eyes, fairy tales will come to life in a way like never before, and everything needed to put on a spectacular show is included. This first edition of Julesy's Puppet Theatre comes complete with a five-character Little Red Riding Hood finger puppet set, a storyboard scroll to narrate the story, a beautifully illustrated eco-friendly fold-out cardboard theatre with attachable feet and props, plus a colour-in theatre sheet which could win your budding theatre stars some exciting prizes. This limited edition set is the perfect way to start your child's theatrical adventure. Julesy's Puppet Theatre a complete show in a box. Oh, so much fun. We absolutely love that here at uh, Collectibles Guru and Sporty Stuff TV. Uh, we'll have to put our own little production together, I think, guys, or maybe do it on a future show. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you can be the big bad wolf and the, uh, the, the woodcutter. Yeah. Yeah. Coming to get you. <laughs> 627 295. <laughs> it's, it's the item number. Uh, 1999. Uh, it's a really lovely price and a, a great Christmas gift. Five pounds is all you'll pay today if you just want to go on the clear pay way. And of course, remember to use that code as well, Xmas. Do that for the 18th of December and uh, you'll get that free PMP as well. Away from Julesy's Puppet Theatre to the Beatles. Now, um, for people who haven't seen our shows before, they, they might be wondering what we've got here, but this is a, a limited <coughs> edition um, disc, isn't it? Yeah, obviously one of the most famous albums, Abbey Road. Um, what they are, these are like, if you've seen gold discs or platinum discs like this one before, they're normally s smaller than this. They're normally about 16 by 12 or 16 by 20. This is 24 by 20, so it's bigger. You've got a bigger photograph of the band there across in the road uh, at Abbey Road so you get a larger photograph and the disc and then and then on their bigger in size but in this format 
There are limited edition of only 100, and there are only ever available on television or on at the moment on our website, you know, for, that relates to this show. But each one of these is numbered individually, so there's only 100 ever produced. We don't have 100. Some cases we have 10 or 12, other cases we might have 20. But of these, we never have more than a quarter of the stock. And, and once they're gone, they're gone. And the one you get is, as in fact, you're the only person in the world with that one. Mm. Once 100 sold, that's it. So they're really, really desirable. 249.99 is the price there. £62.50 on clear pay. 308143. That's Abbey Road, of course, the Beatles. And this next one is, is gorgeous from uh, John Lennon, of course. Probably his most famous song, I, I would suppose, imagine. Yeah, I, I adore John Lennon as well. I mean, um, tragedy, what mm. happened to him. But mm. same idea, basically, of Imagine, as you said, 24 by 20. Great photograph of John Lennon relaxing there. And of course, the image from the uh, picture sleeve of, of uh, Imagine. And then you've got the plaque giving you the number and the actual uh, platinum disc in the middle. Same idea, 24 by 20 inches. It's a big old piece. And uh, once again, the one that you get is they're all numbered individually in the 100. We don't have all 100. We only have a percentage of them. In most cases, it's 20 or less. And once they've gone, that is it. We don't normally you can't get any more. You know, we might go back and be able to pick up a handful, but usually they've all sold out. Again, two four nine ninety nine is the price there. Clear pay is sixty two fifty. Your first payment of four three eight three two one six. Use that code Xmas and you'll get uh, that PMP for free. Um, that is valid until the eighteenth of December. Right, let's have a look at some more items which um, might help you get your Christmas shopping done. And if you know anyone who loves uh, Liverpool Football Club, or indeed if you're a fan of Liverpool yourself, this is going to be a lovely, lovely item to hang on your wall at home. Kind of features, um, a, a, well, many Liverpool legends, doesn't it? Yeah, many Liverpool. We see old Stevie Boy there. I see in Rush. In Rush, yeah, in Rush is. alongside him. But it, this is a, a canvas. It's a stretch canvas photographic image, they put it. Stretch, it's balded as well on the back, so it's ready to just hang on your wall. And of course, in the middle, the song that's associated and you hear coming out of the cop whenever mm. you see Liverpool play, they all sing, you'll never walk alone. There must be nothing like that there. And you've got the manager's clock, you've got Bill Shankly, Kenny Dalgleish, Sir Kenny behind him. Over to the other side, is that Bob Paisley, is it the other one? Yeah, I think it is. Mm. And uh, they're really good, you know. It, it's a great, great piece, really is. And as it quite rightly says, the Liverpool fans are really passionate, really desired to their team. And as you said, you'll never walk alone, you know. Yeah. It really is a fabulous item. I love that as well. Uh, yeah, and I love the fact that, you know, on um, one piece you've combined so many of those uh, Liverpool legends, because there have been many, haven't there, over the years? Over the, uh, oh, yes, yeah, so, so many. Um, and, and their fans are so... Um, you know, sort of passionate, passionate about yeah. the club. I mean, they are huge. They're probably, uh, yeah, I don't know. Matt, I hate to say it, but because the clubs hate being compared with each other. But Liverpool and Man United's fans in the two relevant markets are so so passionate. I know we all the jokes about the Man United fans all live south of Birmingham, <laughs> yeah. which, isn't, which isn't true. There are a few of them, just a few. But I know when you go, you, you know, I've been in America and there's a bar in New York that's just based around Liverpool Football Club. Mm. And, you know, I mean, it's something to do with the club, I don't think. But it's just all the Liverpool fans congregate there. And you have another bar where all the Chelsea fans go and another bar. And it's really, it's almost the banter you get here, you know. It's, uh, it's just amazing. The club's enormous. And you've got some of the legends of Liverpool uh, Football Club depicted on that canvas. Yeah, and how amazing is a football club as well to have that as like the, the, the club song, isn't it? I mean, again, like yeah. Liverpool FC, instantly recognisable. But if you asked anyone, you know, even anyone who probably Perhaps wasn't interested in football, like you know, who, whose club song is "You'll Never Walk Alone." Everyone's yeah, gonna know. know. What they, a great they know. song! Yeah, they know. Yeah, you're right. They're amazing, aren't they? Mm. And uh, yeah, it really great image there of Kenny Dalglish. She was a fabulous player, you know. And the manager really as well, wasn't and he? the manager as well. Yeah. yeah, and does lots for charity. You know, he's uh, he's a really highly respected guy in the industry. Plays a bit of golf, I believe, as well. Oh, so, uh, yeah, so they tell me. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't seen him playing, but I've been told he's quite a, a golf fan. Are you a golfer? Uh, 
I am one of them better. I'm better off making the sandwiches in the in the clubhouse. You know, that's better with my role. I can play golf, but it normally never gets off the ground. I yeah. have no proper tuition. You should take somebody's knee out when they hit behind the, you know, four. Ooh, you know. <laughs> never going golfing with you. Good to no. know. Uh, <laughs> then you see the club coming back in my direction. You know, sorry. Um, if you want to pick this up again, um, it's a lovely, lovely piece. Perfect Christmas gift for someone. It's only forty nine ninety nine as well. Uh, you can use ClearPay once again, so pay just £12.50 today is your first payment of four. 277093 is your item number. Next up, sticking down the, uh, the football theme, uh, we're going to have a look at uh, this England 1966 World Champion shirt, uh, personally signed by uh, Ray Wilson. 294791 is your item number, £224.99 or uh, four clear pays of 56 25 and we're talking about it at this point as well before we kind of get into this because I know we've had a lot of um, different items on this show a lot of people might be watching for the first time and thinking well that, how do I know that that's uh, you know a, a real signature how do I know that that's the, the genuine thing Gaza? well anything that's hand signed um, we ensure probably 90 percent percent of it the vast majority of the items come from dealers like myself who are members of Aftal Aftal is an autograph trade association one of the top ones in the world uh, they're used as a go-to organization for authenticity of signatures and uh, you know the police trading standards insurance companies other auction houses use them for verifying the validity of autographs because obviously autographs is hard to know unless you're actually there how do you know you know yeah. but they have the experts who look at them and the writing and everything so everything we bring you that's signed we guarantee it's hand signed if it's a printed one we would tell you so yeah. one we do have one or two cheaper items that are printed signatures but 90 percent of the items so we pretty 95 percent on here are hand signed so they're not printed they're not faxed and we guarantee they've held it and actually signed them this particular one was signed at a convention in the uk ray wilson uh, sadly no longer with us he was a uh, played for everton in uh, for many years and of course was the left back number three of the england 1966 world cup winning side so he was a member of that team that won the world Cup and at the moment um, is it the only time they'd ever won it yeah. you know, at, the, at the time so he is he's a legend in his own right he's no longer sadly with us like there's only a few of the team left now so these guys as they gradually pass away more and more people are looking for items around this team because they're a piece of football history you know and now I think there's only you know three or four of them left yeah. sadly and a, and it was amazing what they achieved and this guy was part of it not particularly high profile led a very quiet unassuming life afterwards but everybody wants something for him and this is a as I say an England England 1966 says in there England World Cup winners says it all and hand signed by Ray Wilson who was the left back in them days number three of the England team yeah, I think a lot of people got World Cup fever at the moment. So I think, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be watching, looking for these sort of items. And, and, and again, a bit of a one of a kind there, really, for £224.99 or 56 25 on Clearpay. 294791. And, and the nice thing about watching us actually here on Sporty Stuff TV and, and, and certainly, you know, the sports shows that we do. Actually, if you think back on previous shows that we've done and go on the um, the website, you've got a lot of 1966 um, memorabilia. Yeah, we've you? got a fair amount on there. It, it, again, it does it does come and go, sadly, mm. quite quickly because it's really sought after. But, um, yeah, we do have a little look on there. There's a few really nice items. I know at the time of me talking about it, there was some, some stuff with Alf Ramsey. I think we've had Bobby Moore, who's yeah. the captain. Not, you know, Sir Jeff Hurst. Quite a few of the players are on there so Bobby Charlton but do have a little look on there but they do constantly change and to make no mistake don't think we have volumes of these no. some of the cases we have one you know yeah. that's how rare they are it's one and often it's nearly always only single figures with this sort of stuff sometimes one or two you know but it's very very small stocks that's why they're so desirable get them quick if you see something you want yeah and, and this next item is a, is a case in point really so we've got um, another signed item by um, one of 
of the 1966 team, uh, Roger Hunt. Literally, if you want to get your hands on this, um, well, at time of recording, we've got two of these, um, two of these available. But again, mm. great player, and, and, and again, a guy who's, who, who did it for England in '66. Yeah, he's the number one. You know, play, he played for Liverpool, so another one up here from Merseyside. Um, he, he, he was, uh, was he inside right? I think they called him in them days. Yeah, but Roger Hunt, a, a, an integral part of the England team that day when they won the World Cup back in '66. It's funny when you look back at my. I do remember as a kid watching that, you know, and um, being. It's just one of them things I really remember, like big for the first thing in my life yeah. was watching them win the World Cup. You know, and how everybody was there, and the passion, and the noise, and how it felt for days after. And I've had the honour, I think I've met just about all the team over the years. Have you really? Yeah, over the years, you know. And some of them have great stories to tell. I've been on in other places on TV with Jack Charlton and George Cohen and Martin Peters and stuff. And they're all lovely guys. They all have their own stories. Of course, you've got the big characters like Big Jack Charlton, who was quite an extra, <laughs> a, a real man. You know, when I say man's man, no, it's a bad thing to say. He's a real outgoing old staff yeah, now, yeah, you know. Yeah. He, he likes fishing, shooting, did a great job with the, with the uh, Ireland football team. He did, know, in the 90s. Republic of Ireland, brilliant. But he's a really respected guy. And um, some of them are outgoing, some are a bit quieter. You know, George Cohen, a lovely guy from down south, you know, he did a lot of ambassador work at Fulham Football Club. He's got, I think, one of the stands aimed after him down there. Yeah. But I met quite a few of them over the years, and they've all been nice guys, you know. And um, actually, I didn't meet all of them. I didn't meet Bobby Moore, so I certainly didn't meet him. But um, a lot, it, they're great. And, and I've actually, over the years, accumulated for myself a collection of all of the team, plus Bobby Moore, you know, was the captain who sadly passed away at a very young age. And, and, and Sir Alf Ramsey, the manager. And I've got all of them in a big collection. Now, if you put that in, a, in an auction now, I, you know, I would want, if it was me, I would want at least £2,000 for it, you know, because that's what they would go for. Yeah, complete yeah, yeah. thing In an auction, a specialist auction. Very hard. But it's a great way to pick up, you know, um, a way to build a collection is to buy them like this when they crop up from time to time. Again, as you say, we've got two and that's it. Yeah. I certainly don't know where there's any more. And I should say as well, if, in case you're watching this the first time, these these actually have come from a collector of over 50 years standing who I've known for 25 years. You know, that's they've come from his own collection. He's downsizing. In one case, he's sadly no longer with us. But we've we've snatched, not snatched, that's awful. <laughs> we managed to, managed to snatch You've them. You've acquired from, them. Yeah, we managed to snatch them from other people who wanted to snatch them, <laughs> put them on here. And because, you know, he, he loved these, he loved this stuff and he wanted somebody who appreciated it as much as he did to be able to build the collection and get the pleasure from it that he did. And that's what you would get with things like this. Very, very, very rare, very special. And if you're a Liverpool fan as well, has the added advantage of being one of your all time, you know, legends. Yeah, it's a lovely piece, and, and again, you've got to be quick if you want this. It's worth bearing in mind that these shows are repeated. I know a lot of you do watch the repeats in the week on Sporty Stuff TV, so if you see this one, it might be worth just checking the uh, the website because potentially it might not still be there. But um, it's 149.99. 247118 is the item number. It's the England 1966 World Champions 16 by 12 mounted photo signed by Roger Hunt. You can get it on uh, Clearpay if you want to go that way. £37.50 is your first payment of uh, for today. Um, and of course, lots of different ways to shop. You can call 0800 254 5402 or uh, like lots of you do, shop on the website collectiblesguru.com. I've got about 15 minutes or so remaining on the show, so we thought, do you know what, it might be quite nice just to have a look at some of the uh, items that we previewed earlier. Maybe you've just joined us. If you have just joined us, where have you been? Uh, yeah. you, <laughs> where's, your, where's your note? Uh, you, you won't have seen these amazing turntables, which were shown for the first time. Uh, this is the uh, Let It Be Black Anthology turntable. Tell us about these guys, because these are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. I mean, vinyl is, has come full cycle again, hasn't it? It's, vinyl is hot now. It's trendy. It's everything. And you go, you know, when you, people like myself or even you said, you know, we were talking off 
before we went on air about how we would look in charity yeah. shops and, and old record fairs for you go for all the albums looking for ones that you've missed or ones you wanted but there's nothing more oh, there's nothing more I enjoy than going to a, a good old second hand bookshop or a second hand record store you could leave me there for the weekend yeah. and contrary to the way I look forget the sweet shop you know, <laughs> I'd rather leave, leave me in a bookshop yeah. or a record shop I love nosy for and vinyl to me you'll never see CDs, cassettes, you know, blue, whatever it is, blue, all these new convention, you know, things that have come out. I mean, it's got Bluetooth as well, but you know, they'll never be the same as good old vinyl, you know. With and, and the artwork on the albums has become now treated as art. Mm. You know, a lot of the original artwork of albums is selling for thousands of pounds now. You know, big bucks, some of it, you know, it really is, because it's very, very desirable. I mean, Peter Blake, the artist, he did a few of Beatles albums, and they go for quite a few thousand pounds now, you know, yeah. uh, and copies of the original artwork as well, you know. As long, if you signed them, you know, really sought after. And what a lot of people, because, you know, as I say, you, you could go in your local supermarket, a lot of supermarkets they now do sell now. vinyl. Yeah, yeah. And, but, it doesn't matter if you buy in a supermarket or for a specialty dealer, but the re you know those remastered uh, LPs that you get out now, they're probably 30, 35 pounds plus often. And a lot of people for the similar amount of money would rather buy a second hand or original version because it's an original. Original, in it, you know, so they like that. So there's a big passion to get their hands on those old albums. And if you've got a lot of old albums, yeah. check the value because you might find your big surprise, you know, how much they've gone up in value. Oh, yeah, some original releases and that, you know, you, you hear of big bucks. But I, ju I just think the whole joy of being able to go out, like you say, whether you go to your supermarket or you, know, you go to your charity shops, and the joy of going out and searching for a particular album or a particular record, I think yeah. it's almost like too easy these days, isn't it? Just to go online and, you know, you'll find the song or the album that you want I remember, you know, back in the good old days where you know yeah, you, you go out and see huh. if you could get that record get that video couldn't yeah. you, you know, go to the shops you know. I know it, it it was you know when I was a kid you'd, you'd get your pocket money you rush down the the, the shop the record shop on yeah. Saturday you know I thought I was a trendy teenager I don't think I was ever trendy really but you know <laughs> not you tonight go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go dashing down there and you've got your money and you know you're going to buy a record you know yeah. and if it was an LP wow that was like a month saving or more you know maybe if you're a posh kid I wasn't surprisingly <laughs> enough but you get one quicker but in my case it might take you four or six weeks to get one of them but even the singles you know and I can remember at one point thinking I was really cool because I had every record in the top 20 singles you yeah know? yeah and you think now you wouldn't admit to it you know but half the time but it's <laughs> no sorry no no disrespect you know i know what you mean there's though. only five or six i'd want but then they yeah. wouldn't want me to have them anyway would they? You know what I mean? they're not appealing to me you know should i put my beard back on yeah <laughs> oh, uh, and uh, but no i love vinyl it's always had a big passion for me i love the yeah. artwork and there's nothing better my my personal my best collectible you could buy me at any point or give me as a gift is a signed album. Mm. They're very, you know, often they're very expensive, you know, like, goodness, if you had a signed album by the Beatles, you'd probably be oh, talking yeah. £30,000 plus, you know, 30 grand plus. Really rare. If they know, you know, it's got good provenance, they can prove it's real, etc. You know, so, and not just the beat, it was any album. You know, I love albums by bands I like, especially if you've got a signature, mm. it just brings it, so it's special. And I love the vinyl, but I, I cannot, as I said, I got rid of all my vinyl, and I've gradually gone from having 4,000, I'm probably back up to 1,000, you know, because yeah. I just, oh, well, yeah, I love that. And then I buy the habit, because uh, I play them, I don't just look at them, you know. And if you play them, you find another one in better nick you think oh i'll get that one because that's better than mine you know no, I, maybe i'm a good boy and i give the other one to the charity shop you know but i just constantly keep getting them back you know well if you if you like uh, gaza and you love your vinyls why not have something amazing to uh to, to play them on we'll show you the blue one in just a second but this is the let it be black anthology uh crossley collector's turntable not a huge amount of stock of these but you can uh, grab one for 199.99 you can pay just fifty pounds today on Clearpay. First payment of four. That's all available via the website collectiblesguru.com. And don't forget, you can save yourself your PMP here too. If you order before the eighteenth of December, uh, you will use that code Christmas or Xmas X M A S, and you won't have to pay your PMP, which is a nice little bonus. Six five zero three seven nine. If you like the Let It Be Black anthology, however. 
if you prefer the one that's on the table in front of us here, uh, this one is also available for you as well. This is the Blue Anthology turntable, different item number, so it's 628414, same price once again, um, obviously different colour, uh, and you're getting the different print on the inside of the case as well. Yeah, and, and we know anything with an image of the Beatles or their name on is always going to create a buzz to get their hands on it. I mean, in places like America and the Far East, Japan, etc., they go wild for items like this. And, and we, I mean, obviously there's no guarantee we'll carry on like that, but basically any original items from the 60s or, you know, when the Beatles were at their peak, could be a, an ashtray, it could be <laughs> a, you know, anything that, you know, like a handkerchief, yeah. a, a, a towel. If it's got an image of the Beatles on, there's a collector who's gonna wanna own it. Yeah. And invariably, you know, anything like this, again, I, I suspect a lot of collectors will buy these just because it's got the Beatles on. In fact, one guy was telling me the other day, he's bought one to play his music and he's bought one to keep. Is that right? Yeah, because he just believes it's something very special, you know. And it is, and it's Bluetooth as well. So yeah. it's all the latest kit. Uh, really well put together. Crossley are really good for this type of uh, item. And of course, you can put these together and you can just carry it around. And on the outside, there's the name, The Beatles. Yeah, I mean, it looks wow. the absolute business, At the doesn't back, it? You've got all the, uh, the, the, the points, haven't you? For yes. The, uh, so, you, yeah, you can uh, pop your, attach your speakers there, or like you said, you know, go Bluetooth with this one as well. Yeah. You can even, if you want to, you know, if you want to listen privately, there's a, a socket in there as well, so you can just pop your headphones in um, to listen privately. So it's entirely up to you. It's, kind of, it's got that real sort of vintage feel to it, but then again, it's got all the sort of modern day technology to it. So it's a, mm. it's a nice crossover piece in, in that sort of regard. But um, it's beautifully made. And I love the fact that it comes in this, in this carry case, and we were chatting about it earlier on, that it's almost like, you know, you can play a few records on uh, Christmas Day, whatever, or if you're you know, visiting other members of the family, I don't know, Boxing Day or New Year, just yeah. uh, fold the lid down, um, put it up and then take it with you. Or if like a, a lot of people at Christmas, you get extended holiday, yeah. you know, and you've had enough of everybody, <laughs> yes. you can go into the greenhouse and put that on <laughs> your earphones and you can just disappear into your own little private world for a while, can't you, you know, whatever you want to do, it's entirely up to you. But I tell you, if you've got that as... as Ben said you can disappear into your own little world or you can entertain all the troops when it's round. You know? Absolutely. Can't go wrong. And it is a really lovely, beautifully made item. And it's a piece of furniture, isn't it? It's a, it, not a piece of furniture, doing it discredit, really. I mean, it, it is a lovely item. And I believe that, you know, because of the links with who it is, the Beatles, there'll always be a big desire to get your hands on something like that. I uh, really would. You can get it in time for Christmas as well. Make sure you get ordering this uh, and use that code to get your PMP for free. Code is Xmas, X-M-A-S, and uh, make sure you do that before the 18th of December. Item number here is 628414, and it's 199.99 for the blue. Again, you can use Clearpay on this, so spread the cost four ways on the website. Now, whether you've gone for the blue anthology or the black anthology, chances are if you're buying a turntable, you've probably got one or two records. You might need somewhere to store them or indeed take them with you when you go. And if you're a Beatles fan, we have got the perfect item for you. This is the absolute business, this, Gary. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. It's a good it's a good weekend bag, really, if you <laughs> wanted is. it. It's really solid, well made, nicely hinged. It's great, you know, it really, really is. And uh, but, but on a serious note, obviously it's designed very, very well one to to take around quite a few LPs with you or twelve inch records as we would call them you know, your albums, you'll get a lot of them in there. I don't know, I should check how many you get, I suppose it depends if you have doubles or, you know, mm. double albums, single albums, but it's it's a big piece that, and again, really, really useful, and a lovely addition if you've bought the turntable and, and you've already got a few records, you can put them in there and you know they're gonna be pretty safely looked after and secured when you're moving them around. There's nothing worse than opening the back of the car and one falls out and smashes or someone treads on one. If you keep them in there, you're gonna be pretty safe safe I would think yeah and as you as we sort of half uh, holds um, 
up to 30 albums, which is which is brilliant 30, to know. Yeah. But also, like you said, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, put your vinyls in there. You could be a weekend back. F put a few bottles in there if you wanted. Well, <laughs> if you were, you shouldn't have had my other half. Are you? Yeah, it's not, it's not a wine cooler just in case. You know, <laughs> well, I should probably turn it into yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. No taste like that. No taste. Don't tell her I said that. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> sit, sit, no kissing under the mistletoe for you uh, this year after that. No, no, no. Uh, six zero nine three zero seven is the item number if you want that uh, record carrier case that holds up to 30 albums 84 pounds 99 i don't know how many bottles it would hold 21 <laughs> 21 25 if you're using clear pay today and of course use that code uh, xmas before the 18th of december and you'll get the p and p for free so let's have a look at some other items which you might want to get along with your record players and along with your um, carriers. So you've got the Beatles Crosley Slip Mat. So um, again, useful bit of kit to have, but how great does this look with the yeah, submarine? Yeah, it's a great image, isn't it? Yellow submarine. We're all ready. We're all singing. No, we better not sing because we'll be in trouble. We're not allowed to sing on air anymore, you know. No, no. Not allowed, is it? But no, as you say, it's a great image. So evocative, isn't it? Look at that. But obviously that's designed to sort of protect your records and act as a, a slip thing when you're moving them around as well or put over the turntable or helps to keep them a bit more balanced as well sometimes. But it's a great, great item. It really is. I love them. And again, it's a nice extra look for, you know, if you, if you get in the turntable and all the bits, maybe you'd like the slip mat to protect them. £15.99, uh, 687.259 is your item number and four clear pays of £4. And then we've got an adapter as well, Gary, haven't we? Yep, uh, 45 inch, you know, to put your, uh, your seven inch records on. Got the image of the Abbey Road on there. As it says, it's a solid aluminium construction, perfect for any turntable, whatever the era. Wherever you come from, whatever the age, whatever you are, this will work for you. Sixteen ninety nine. Who is that? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Voiceover guy. Uh, four, so we got an interference. <laughs> four four pounds twenty five on clear pay today. Um, now, if you're looking for items for the kids or the grandkids, I think we have the perfect one here at the Collectibles Guru. This is brilliant. Um, yes. Julesy's Puppet Theatre. Uh, we love it. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood, this tells a story of uh, Gaza, doesn't it? And how brilliant is this for the for the kids and the grandkids? Going to get the old, uh, yeah, get, get their uh, creative minds going. They can have a bit of fun and act out their own play. Yeah, it, it really is. It's educational. As you say, it's creative. It encourages them to play together. Basically, you've got those five handmade finger puppets. They're really nicely made as well. The hand you see there is just for storing them on. Yeah. So that comes with like feet. So you can store them on when they're not being used. But basically, it's just showing you how you use them with it it comes with a storyboard which is uh, an important part of the kit basically what the idea is you have an old an older child an older child or an adult reads the story out this one obviously of little red riding hood they're all traditional fairy tales but this one is of uh, little red riding hood so someone would read the story or narrate it if you want to make it more efficient sound more posh they would uh, narrate the story and the children or the kids if you whatever you want to call them they could actually play the figures you know have a couple each on the theatre get a couple of children on there and under there easy having fun so it's a great one keeps them happy when we've got four kids or 24 they'll all sit around and watch and let them all have a go so it's a great item it really is yeah 19.99 or five pounds today on clear pay 627.295 and i think it might be quite nice actually to hear from the lady behind the idea so uh, let's have a look at this little video which should explain more I've got five young grandchildren aged between three and ten and one Christmas I was searching for something that would keep all of them entertained and allow the whole family to come together and spend quality time with each other. I came across this old second-hand wooden theatre with a few mixed match puppets. I can't tell you how thrilled I was when all the toys and books were put aside. The kids became so captivated in this make-believe world of putting on their own theatre shows. Not once did they ask to play on their tablets or watch TV. In fact, it was a real struggle to get them to eat. We had the most amazing Christmas. So that was when the idea for Jules's Puppets was born. I wanted something beautiful, colourful, 
and most importantly, eco-friendly that came in one box ready to play with. So hey presto, here it is. I really hope that Jules's Puppet Theatre will bring your young family and friends many, many hours of fun. Don't miss out on Julesy's Puppet Theatre. Children of all ages will enjoy hours of fun as they get the chance to act out their favourite classic fairy tales in their very own pop-up theatre complete with finger puppets. Julesy's Puppet Theatre is designed to positively encourage creativity, initiative and teamwork whilst keeping the little ones thoroughly entertained. Before your own eyes, fairy tales will come to life in a way like never before and everything needed to put on a spectacular show is included. This first edition of Julesy's Puppet Theatre comes complete with a five-character Little Red Riding Hood finger puppet set, a storyboard scroll to narrate the story, a beautifully illustrated eco-friendly fold-out cardboard theatre with attachable feet and props, plus a colour-in theatre sheet which could win your budding theatre stars some exciting prizes. This limited edition set is the perfect way to start your child's theatrical adventure. Julesy's Puppet Theatre a complete show in a box. Oh, I love the end of that video where they're all taking a bow. <laughs> yeah, it's good, mate. Eh? <laughs> it's really oh, good. Yeah, like but like you said, it's, like it's old school plays, isn't it? Getting the kids off the off the screens and, and using their imaginations and having a bit of fun. Yeah, well, I'm saying we got one for my grandkids and they really do. They're in a similar age group and they loved it, mm. you know. They did really play with it for ages. I mean, obviously, it, it you know, the older child, if you've got an older child, they normally want to adopt the role as the teacher or yeah. reading out the story. But that can be an adult. But it's great whether you've got, like, we use it, we went to like a birthday party and it was about 12 children there you know and a couple of really babies but they loved it you know because they're all playing with it and watching it and they all get a go on it so it really is good clean fun with old traditional fairy tales can't that be bad is it and I think uh, yeah many happy hours playing with that and particularly again if you are uh, somebody who maybe runs a, a nursery or something like that they're going to have uh, fun using that last week to get it in time for Christmas, so make sure you order it. Uh, yeah, just two tenors, uh, four payments of uh, five pounds on Clearpay, and use that code Xmas uh, before the 18th of December to get your P and P for free. Uh, Gaza, thank you so much. Yeah, for the great show. to see you. Yes, yeah, great to see you. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. See you soon. Uh, we'll see you very, very soon. Gotta love the app, haven't you? Bye for now. You've been watching a commercial presentation brought to you by Collectibles Guru.